Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialist. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite a nice case here. This is uh, an example of a patient that's treated their ear with hydrogen peroxide. Now, normally when somebody says that they've used any kind of drops that fizz, so sodium bicarb or hydrogen peroxide, uh, my heart really does sink because most of the time they've used a lot of it and it turns the wax into this sort of uh, soup or slurry kind of slime consistency, which is, a, which is very, very difficult to remove. And more often than not, there's a lot of slime kind of up against the eardrum, adhered to it, uh, which then results in the patient's hearing loss not being resolved. Now, however, in this particular case, they've just used enough of it to, to loosen up the wax and not fully turn it into this kind of slime soup consistency. Um, and if you're interested in what one of those cases look like, um, I'll link uh, a video down in the description box which uh, showcases a patient which used a lot of sodium bicarb, which did turn it into a slurry, uh, which is a very interesting case. But here, we're, uh, we're in some luck. So what we're gonna do is remove all of this wax from this recess. This is the anterior recess. So it's like sort of a, uh, a pocket or a trench just before the eardrum, just on the right-hand side. And we're gonna slowly work our way through this wax and uh, restore the patient's hearing. So you can see that there's a, actually quite a colossal amount of wax that we're just breaking apart bit by bit by bit. And one thing to note also is that the wax looks not its usual sort of brownish color. It looks almost like a pale yellow. Um, and that is the effect of, of the hydrogen peroxide. So it does change the color slightly. And uh, sometimes it can be mistaken for infection. So if the hydrogen peroxide has had this kind of um, almost bleaching effect and it's created quite a watery, slimy earwax, um, it's not uncommon for people to think that um, the ear is infected, um, thinking that it's pus. Um, but you can tell the difference if you've, if you've seen enough ears with it. So here we are just breaking apart these very small chunks of wax. For the most part, everything does eventually draw through the suction probe. Even when I exit the ear, it ends up sort of popping through the suction probe. So there's not a huge amount to see on the tissue. But just here, we're going to grab this little piece and slowly free up the eardrum. So if from the start of the video, you could see that the, eardr uh, the ear canal wasn't actually completely blocked. There wasn't a wall of wax like you'll see in other videos. It was fairly clear and the eardrum was visible in the background there. But the problem was is that there was a lot of wax actually sort of shoved up against the eardrum, so pressing against it, which is kind of similar to, um, you know, if you want to hit a snare drum but someone's resting their hand on it, you know, the snare drum isn't going to vibrate properly. And it's the same thing with the eardrum. Um, so there's just one last sheet of dead skin that I want to remove here. And it's, and it's hidden right back there. And there it is. So you can see it's, uh, it's often very difficult to see what's actually trapped in that recess. And probably there are some little bits and pieces back there that we can't quite visualize with the endoscope. But there it is, get a nice look at the eardrum. Again, there's some slime there on the eardrum, some residual wax. Um, but again, next time the patient goes for a shower, all of these residual little smatterings here will be resolved. Just getting this last little piece of dead skin here. And for, at, at this point, the patient felt like their hearing was much, much better. Um, so overall, a fairly good outcome. A short video today, guys, but I thought it'd be very interesting just to show you how, you know, this is one of the few cases, I would say, where hydrogen peroxide has actually had a positive outcome, has, a, has had a positive effect on the patient rather than a negative effect. So there we go. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking the video and subscribing, and I will see you on the next one.